As you know, I'm always on the lookout for the best devices to use with Microsoft OneNote, and today we have something very exciting to review, the Canvas 13 graphics tablet. I've tried a number of note-taking companions like the iPad, the Wacom tablet, and even a touchscreen monitor, and today we'll see how the Canvas 13 stacks up against the others. As a disclaimer, I did receive this tablet for free for the purposes of making this review, so please keep that in mind. This video is going to be longer than usual, so please use the timestamp in the description to skip around. I'll start out by showing you how I use this with OneNote for note-taking. Then, if you're interested in this tablet, you can stick around for a brief unboxing. We'll go over the product features and specs, and I'll show you how to connect this tablet to your computer. Then finally, we'll download the Huion tablet app and customize the buttons on the tablet and the stylus. I have to say, the Canvas 13 is absolutely amazing to use with OneNote. The pen is incredibly accurate, and the overall experience feels very natural, making it perfect for jotting down notes, creating diagrams, sketching out ideas, and marking up documents. The customizable hotkeys on the tablet and the stylus make it easy to access my favorite shortcuts and speed up my note taking. Let's talk about the actual writing experience first. I think it's on par with writing on an iPad. It's incredibly accurate and it feels very natural. When I use OneNote with a pen tablet like Wacom, although I can write keywords and short phrases, writing full-on sentences can be cumbersome and unnatural. And the handwriting itself doesn't look very good. But here, it looks really good and it's easily picked up by OneNote's OCR, as you can see when I search the page. I can also select my handwriting and accurately convert it into text. The input devices you choose for OneNote greatly impacts how you're going to take your notes. For example, if you use a laptop, you're going to type your notes in a more linear fashion. And when you use an iPad, you're more likely to handwrite and sketch your notes in more free and creative fashion. This graphics tablet lets you do both. I can easily switch from handwriting to text. I can convert ink to shape to quickly sketch out different diagrams, and I can annotate things easily. I mean, this is really versatile and I love it. I just keep my OneNote active on this tablet and use it to take quick notes and even doodle to get my creative juices flowing. In the box comes the tablet, an optional foldable stand, a drawing glove, a USB extension cable, three-in-one cable, which I'll talk more about later, the pen, and the pen holder, which includes the nibs. I also got the optional USB-C to USB-C cable. The Canvas 13 features full lamination technology, which means the screen and glass are seamlessly combined to minimize parallax, and the anti-glass film ensures you can see your screen even in harsh lighting conditions. It provides a full HD 1920x1080 resolution IPS screen with vivid and bright colors. The panel size is 13.3 inches, and the active area is about 11.5 by 6.5 inches. It's kind of a shame that this has such a large border area. It seems like wasted space. Either the active area could have been larger or the tablet could have been smaller. The shortened pen nib reduces offset and improves accuracy, and the high levels of pressure sensitivity and pen resolution brings lifelike drawing experience, and the pen doesn't require a battery. The Canvas 13 has two USB Type-C ports. The bottom port is for full-featured USB-C to USB-C single cable connection. This is the only cable you need if you have a computer with USB-C. The cable doesn't come with the tablet, so you'll need to purchase it separately. Make sure you get the right cable since not all USB-C to USB-C cable will work. And this is actually quite a frustrating part about this tablet. The USB-C ports on the side of the tablet are recessed in, so you need to ensure that the cable has very thin wrap around, otherwise it won't fit. So although I have a dozen USB-C cables, I can only use the one that is intended for this tablet. I'll put the link in the description below for the correct cable. Now, if you don't have a USB-C connection on your computer, or if it doesn't support USB 3.1 data transfer protocol and DisplayPort 1.2, then you'll need to use the other 3-in-1 cable that is included in the box. The USB-C end gets inserted into the top port of the tablet, and the other three gets inserted to your computer. So there's the HDMI cable to transfer the video signal, the USB-A cable to transfer the touch input signal, and the red USB-A cable to deliver the power. This last cable can also just be connected to a USB wall charger, and so it doesn't need to be connected to the source computer. 
If you're using multiple monitors, you'll first have to go to the display setting to choose how you want to use this tablet. I think for most of us, we'll choose the extend display option and you can choose which display you want as your primary. Once everything is connected, we can download the driver and software from the Huion website and I'll link this in the description as well. Open your Huion app, choose a working area and choose your tablet. If this isn't set correctly, you might notice that while you use your pen on the tablet, the cursor shows up on the other display. Now once that's set up, go back to the press key and you can start programming the buttons on the tablet as well as the switches and the stylus. You can customize the keys to the specific programs you'll use. So in this case, let's choose OneNote. So go to All Program, Add a Program, and I'm going to scroll down until I find OneNote. Now, I do have both the desktop version as well as the Windows 10 version installed. So I'll choose the first one. Okay. Now, any programming that we do will be tied specific to OneNote. So we can choose the first button here. And you can see that I set up Alt D E K. I've already customized my key, so you'll see that the keystrokes have already been filled in for all these buttons. And how I was able to set this up is if we were to go to OneNote, you'll notice that if I hit the Alt key, you have the shortcut keys pop up. So I want to go to the drawing tab, which is letter D, right? So, so far we have Alt and D as the keystrokes. And now if I want to choose a eraser, so if I hit D, the next keystroke would be E for eraser. So if I hit E, then I have four other options. So I can use small, medium, large eraser or keystroke. I'm going to choose keystroke. So again, if I were to clear this, Go to Alt, D, E, then K. So if I were to go back to the app, you can see for the first button, it's Alt, D, E, and K. Okay, so let's try that. I'm going to write something here. And then choose the first button. That selects the eraser. Now I can delete. I do have a full tutorial on how to create custom shortcuts to your favorite commands and to map them to a tablet. So you can check that out in the card above. And again, I'll list all of the links in the description below. Now with the buttons all set up, I can switch seamlessly between different commands and work efficiently in OneNote. In conclusion, the Canvas 13 graphics tablet is a great note taking companion for OneNote users. And if you're looking for a versatile and high performance graphics tablet, I highly recommend the Canvas 13. And if you're interested in picking one up, be sure to use the affiliate link in the description below. And that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more contents like this. See you in the next video.